Hello and welcome to the weird one. This unboxing is June's Horror Block. This is a subscription box all the way from abroad and an our money works at about 21 to 25 pounds depending on the exchange rate so please be aware of this. In case you want to check them out I will put their Facebook page and website page in the comments below. As this is a box from abroad, it does have on the label exactly what's in the box. So to avoid spoilers, do not look at the label or you will totally ruin the surprise. The box, as most of us will be aware, is a very cool black box with the Horror Block logo and a bloody handprint. I love the handprint. For those that haven't, this is the box. Horror Block logo all over it. And bottom. And a very cool... Walking Dead reference, don't open Dead Inside, I absolutely love this, I'm a huge zombie fan. Okay, so sneaky peek, that's all you're getting. Okay, so we will start with the t-shirt. Amity Island, I believe this is a reference to Jaws. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Okay, and the next item is a pop figure, and it is Willow from Buffy. I have to admit, I don't really see how Buffy is horror. I would say it's more supernatural, but I guess you can generally put it in the same area. Um, I was a Willow fan, so that's a bonus. And we have a double pop month. And we also have the strain, and I have actually seen this, and it's not too bad. He's one of the good guys, and the others you can collect, and the really cool artwork. And then we have something in a bag. Nightmare on the Elm Street pillowcase. How cool is that? And that is what the pillowcase looks like. So I won't get it out. Then we have a Blu-ray Turbo Kid. I've never seen this. I have no idea what it is, but I look forward to finding it out. There's the back. A post-apocalyptic future. That sounds good already. And then, like in every box, we get a t-shirt and a copy of Remove magazine. Fear is still a place. Session 9. And it is $9.95. Quick flip through. That looks cool. Horror block. Advertising. There we go. And then we have the cards in the bottom. We have a shirt punch $10 credit. We have the contents card, double Funko Pop month. We could have got either of those. Then we have the Jaws t-shirt, Turbo Kid Blu-ray, Nightmare on Elm Street pillowcase and the magazine. Then we have a hints card, take a trip to Camp Crystal Lake this summer with an exclusive item from Friday the 13th, that sounds cool. This July, prepare yourself for the first time exclusives from The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, awesome, and Psycho. Look forward to seeing what they are. Okay, so value-wise, it doesn't look too bad. Pops, on average, will cost you around 10 to 12 pound. A good t-shirt will cost you 10 to 12 pound. The Blu-ray, I'm going to guess at around 5 pounds. So I'm not too sure on that one. The very cool pillowcase, I'm going to price at around 8 to 10 pound. The Rue Morgue magazine was $9.95, so I'm going to say about £8.50 in our money. So not a bad box. Personally, I would have preferred more horror pops, as in I think they're more supernatural than horror. I know some people will argue that supernatural is horror. But I would have preferred some more like Friday the 13th or Exorcist or just generally anything horror. My favourite item is going to be the pillowcase 
My least favourite item, I have to admit, there's quite a few this month. I'm not a great fan of the t-shirt. Uh, the pops, I'm not a great fan of. The Turbo Kid, I have no idea what that's like, so I'll give that a go. Feel free to comment below on your favourite item, your least favourite item. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.